This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And here's my second recipe. I'm getting ready to fix um, chicken and broccoli stir-fry. Chinese chicken and broccoli. Um, so I've got some things that I have to do first and then I'll bring you back later. Um, one of the things that I wanted to tell you is I'm doing a I'm using a lot of things that I've never used before, a lot of ingredients that I've never used before. I just um, grated ginger. Never done that before in my life. It really smells pretty good. I'm kind of excited about that. But I do have um, I have four chicken thighs. I um, cut these up in strips instead of in chunks or whatever so and I've got one teaspoon of cornstarch in there and then in here I've got scallions <laughs> the ginger and garlic and it says to use about half of it so I'm going to use half of it in this and then um, I need one teaspoon of salt And it says to use sugar, but I'm going to use um, agave nectar. And I'm going to, it says two tablespoons, so I'm only of sugar. So I'm just going to put one tablespoon of agave nectar in here. All right, and there's that. And then I need a tablespoon of sesame oil. And the soy sauce. All right, there's the sesame oil. All right, and I forgot the soy sauce, so I'm going over here to get that. So I'm really excited about all the things that I've been doing lately in making different, making different um, recipes, trying out different foods, and and all this. So it says um, one tablespoon soy sauce. So, I have Kikkoman soy sauce, and the next time after I use this, I'll be getting the low sodium, but I don't have that now, so I'm just using regular soy sauce. And I'm going to put this all in the chicken, in with the chicken, and I have to let this marinate, and it says add sherry, but I don't have any sherry, so, um... I need to let this marinate for um, 15 to 20 minutes. So, I'm just going to stir all this up in here. I, You know, I told y'all in the other video, I can't stand garlic. And the smell of this garlic is uh, terrible. But, I've got it. I've got everything in here and I'm going to let this chicken marinate and... I'll bring you back after I get everything else together. Okay, I did want to tell you I did this um, so fast and like a um, dummy I didn't tell you everything that's in here. This is four um, chicken thighs cut into strips. I have um, about three and a half spring onions. Um, scallions. I think last night I called them shall shallots, but some people say um, scal scallions. I, I don't. I just say spring onions or green onions. Um, and um, two cloves of garlic, but I just had this garlic with, it's already minced. And then about an inch piece of ginger. Um, and I mixed all that in here. And then one, it says two tablespoons of 
um, sugar, but I used one tablespoon of the agave nectar um, and one tablespoon of soy sauce and one tablespoon of sesame seed oil and then the cornstarch, which is one teaspoon of cornstarch. And you put all that in, in here in the chicken, the onions and uh, everything that I just named off is in this bowl with the chicken and I'll let this marinate for 15 minutes and I'll bring you back. Okay, as you can see, I've got my wok really hot. I've got one tablespoon of canola oil in here. I'm putting my broccoli in. A wooden spoon. No, don't. Yeah. too hot. <laughs> oh, man. It's the first time I've ever, ever done this, so y'all are right here with me as I do this. Can you stir this for a minute, please? of the ginger and the garlic and the onions in with the broccoli. Put that in. And then you add two tablespoons of water. Salt, and I'm just putting whatever in, and cracked the coarse ground pepper. And I do this for about three minutes. It's sticking in my non-stick pan. That's not so good, huh? Okay, I'll bring you back with the next thing that I have to do. Okay, now I'm getting ready to do my chicken. I've got two tablespoons of, of canola oil in here now. I'm going to put my chicken in. This is the chicken that was marinating in all the, the garlic and the onions and the ginger and sesame seed oil. <clears throat> and it says to let this cook until it browns. So that's what I'm going to do with this and I'll bring you back. It's on. Okay, um, here's the chicken. And now I've got one tablespoon of hoisin sauce and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And I'm going to put that in here. And you put that in with the chicken. Stir it around. I'm going to turn it 
turn this down to about five on my stove. Now I'll put the broccoli back in. And let this cook. And then I use um, a third of a cup of water and one tablespoon cornstarch, which um, I have right here. And when this gets ready to, to thicken up, I'll add that, the water and the cornstarch. And it'll thicken up and make like a sauce. So I'm going to let this cook a while just to make sure this chicken is done. And I'll bring you back. Okay, so I'm ready now to put the cornstarch and the water in. Put that in. And stir it until it makes the, the sauce or whatever. And then I'm going to bring you back once I have this and the um, chicken and rice plated. Okay, here's the finished um, product, the food. Um, I've sprinkled some sesame seeds on it, and I've got the chicken fried rice underneath it. And now I'm going to take a bite, see what it tastes like. Mmm. That is really good. I am going to have to get me a real wok, though, because that one <laughs> isn't hitting on much. This really has a good taste. I love it. Well, you can see, this is my broccoli and chicken stir-fry with my chicken and rice stir-fry underneath it. And if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. And you have a good day. Thanks. Bye.